right, Frankie. What do we got here? Oh, we got some cleats for Golden Tate. This is what we deal with for usually the giant stuff. We'll go pick up the cleats because my guy's here. So we'll be doing with Golden Tates. Luckily, we have his from Monday Night Football. So I have a couple days for him. So we'll put him on the back burner. I may have to do uh, cleats for Jarvis Landry today and then a bunch of Vikings tomorrow. And I got a project for uh, DMC. I run DMC. And I got a project for eBay. I got, I got a lot of stuff going on. I, I don't know. I might not sleep. These are all of Jarvis Landry's cleats for the season. But, uh, what you got done up. So, oh, they, and they labeled them, so that's good. Okay. Well, some of them. Cool. All right, well, it's a good start. So, it was a short week. It was the Labor Day weekend. So, we I started Stefan Diggs Dior cleats yesterday. Got this one done gotta do the touch-ups on this one so we're gonna do that one first then we're gonna hop into Jarvis Landry's cleats I'm gonna have Rob um, Rob's my helper he's gonna be throwing swooshes on a gray pair for Diggs because talked to Diggs last night he wants to have a gray pair as well it's a life of a customizer you change minds and you have to be able to pivot and accommodate so that's uh, that's what we're gonna do so get those two pairs done probably gonna be doing about four pairs today just today and then uh, we're gonna figure out how to get the rest of them done in time for Sunday and Monday. Well, uh, if I didn't lose my hair already, I'm going to now. One of the uh, the rookie mistakes that I've, I see some some uh, young artists do is they do the stencil and then they don't touch it up. They just think that's it. Like you got you got to touch them up because at the end of the day, the stencil is not going to be perfect. From far away, it'll look good, but when you get real close and you see it's all jacked up, you got to make sure you put out that that good product. All right, first mission if you choose to accept it. <laughs> So Diggs decided that he wanted to have a gray pair. That's like what we already did. Um, just touch up the spots around here and then just do the swooshes white. That's it for them. And then just sit the hip in with the coating and all that crap. So then he has options. All right. So this is Rob. <laughs> People will think that it's just me here. Like obviously we do a lot of shoes and Rob's been with me for a couple years now. And he's kind of like one of the unsung heroes here. So you'll be seeing him doing stuff and Almost like a like, assembly line, pretty much. Diggs Dior joints are done. One one down. Rob's gonna do the swoosh, so he's all he'll be all together for for Sunday. It wasn't too bad. Now uh this is just maintenance right now. I'm gonna take some quick photos, get them in the mail, and off they go. Looking for more here. Taking a shot for Diggs. He tracks it down. Takes a shot, but a big play as Bless Austin makes the so next on the menu is for the Browns receiver Jarvis Landry who's one of the newest members of the Mosh Gang so uh, he was with the Dolphins and then now he's with Cleveland and uh, we're gonna do a little Kobe tribute so uh, I picked the gold bombs he sent me a bunch of IDs to start off with um, thankfully they're all white so challenge with you know with a Kobe kind of theme is you think of Kobe you think of Lakers you think of purple and gold purple and gold is Vikings colors not Cleveland Browns colors so the way around is I'm actually gonna do a grayscale snake print over the top, and then I'm gonna do a portrait of Kobe on the side. So that's gonna be my kind of way to get around it so my man Jarvis doesn't get fined with his first pair of Mosh custom cleats. So we're gonna get, get, uh, get the prep in and try and get these done today. Yeah, we're out. Damn it, now we go to the store. Hi. Kobe! Yes! <laughs> Ah <laughs> oh, man, I got both sets of keys, and Mrs. Mosh has something to do today, so I have both sets of keys. I gotta drive home and give her a damn keys. Like I need anything else to delay me right now. Oh my god. So I, uh, we're, we're already on the way home. Um, I notified my 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 very understanding wife <laughs> that I have both sets of keys. I thought her appointment was at three no it's at one right now it's 12 19 and my shop is about 45 50 minutes away from my house so we're gonna play speed racer um she's definitely gonna be late for her appointment she's gonna kill me but um at least i remember i mean i didn't get like a call at like 12 45 cursing me out so you know things could be worse definitely could be worse right could be worse so uh, my boys at West Side Deli, it's a deli I frequent pretty often, they decided they wanted to make a, a mosh sandwich. Yeah, I guess I'll tell you, no, you made it if you get a sandwich. I haven't really made it, but 
Yeah, my keys fell. So, um, a silver lining of uh, having to drop off Mrs. Mosh's keys is we're gonna get to try this sandwich for lunchtime, so I'm never here on time. I'm gonna try my sandwich. Oh, you are? Yeah. Let's effing go. I don't even know, uh, let me, let me look at this. So, we got the chicken cutlet, the fresh mozzarella, there's um, prosciutto and uh, pepperoni, then oil, vinegar, and a little bit of mayonnaise. Man, this is gonna be good. Cheat day, <laughs> cheat day, well worth it. started on uh, Anthony Harris's pair, got prepped for Juice Landry. We're gonna do his pair today because they're on the road, found out last night. Um, so they're gonna be leaving for uh, wherever they're, they're playing on Saturday. So the cleats have to get to there by tomorrow. So we'll do his pair first, get those overnighted along with Steph's pair that are already done. Then I'll leave all the Vikings pairs to get finished um, by tomorrow. Oh, and uh, um, uh, and Golden Tate's pair for Monday. So probably, uh, yeah, I, I guess well, we gotta get them all done by tomorrow. So <laughs> we're gonna figure it out. Work never stops. But I'm thankful. I'm thankful for this. I, I, I asked for this. So yeah. So for Juice Landry's pair, he wanted to go with the Kobe theme. So um, again, keeping it so he doesn't get fined because like your colors are not Cleveland Browns colors. We're gonna do a grayscale snake print on the toes, fading up into the existing white. Gonna do a Kobe portrait here. Um, we're gonna do um, the Mamba snake wrap around the swoosh, similar to the same exact uh, Air Force One I did a couple weeks ago. Um, we're gonna do the Kobe logo with Mamba forever. Clean and simple for, for juice. Um, yeah, that's about it. We're gonna start cutting. I'm gonna start laying down um, the snake print while it cuts, cause it's gonna cut for a while. We do the stencils for the portraits, more for just proportions to save time, because again, these have to go out today. I always say, you know, if I don't have a time restraint, I'm not gonna do the stencils, but now I have no choice. We, got, we gotta work efficiently, not just using my ego, because I can paint. Diggs' pairs and uh, Jarvis Landry's pairs. Those have to go out today because Jarvis is on the road and Diggs, I just want to make sure they get them in time for Saturday. Um, the Vikings pairs are going to get done tomorrow, so I'm going to go over these bad boys. And uh, yeah, the marathon continues. <laughs> 